Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Burial Beer Company, and they are based out of Asheville, North Carolina, and this is their A Vulgar Mutilation of Truth. Pretty deep. Also, they have really cool can art. So, I was recently down in Nags Head, North Carolina on vacation at the beach. And I was talking to uh, Joe from the Beer Patrol. And he had said, hey, you should check and see if you can get anything from Burial while you're down there. And... They're pretty damn far away, but I thought, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot. My camera is acting weird. I'm hoping that's uh, zooming in. Anyway, so this is coming in at 7.5% ABV. Unfortunately, this does not have a canned on date. I did get uh, a total of three different um, beers from them. Uh, and this was the only one that didn't have a candon date. Uh, let's see. So there's an interesting spiel here. <clears throat> These are the deranged visuals of untold origin. They are the contorted musings of distorted minds. Distorted minds. They are the truth. They are the future. They are the reality we all must face. And yet. They remain above, pace from our impending doom. Mashed with oats and whirlpooled with incognito and cryo. Double dry hopped with Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy, Vic Secret, and Idaho 7. And drizzled with Amarillo, Citra, and Mosaic cryos. Sounds really interesting. Again, the can art. I friggin' love it. Uh... Let's get into it. I had never had anything from Burial uh, prior to going down to the Outer Banks before just recently, so. Uh, very interested to see what uh, they do. Using my Treehouse Tiku glass. Leave that like that. So that pours out a nice light hazy yellow coloration uh, with one finger of white rocky head. Looks like a very nice beer. I can smell it from here. Let's get a whiff. So I'm getting a lot of stone fruit uh, as well as pineapple. So I'm getting like uh, apricot, I would say. Apricot, apricot, uh, pineapple. Very juicy for sure. Also getting, um, I want to say like mango. I'm definitely a tropical fruit. Wow, the stone fruit though really dominates here. Uh, so again, the stone fruit, the pineapple, and then I'm getting tropical fruit like mango for sure. It smells amazing. I'm. I'm gonna take one more whiff and then dive back in. Or dive in, I should say. Oof. Yeah. Smells like a uh, juice bomb. Alright, cheers.
Let's say lower side of medium body. Me, like medium, um, like moderate, I'd say moderate carbonation. Let me try to zoom in right again. There we go. All right, in terms of the flavor, it's it, it's that apricot for sure. Like hands down, I'm getting I'm getting apricot. Um, followed by pineapple and mango. So it, it, the flavor is matching the nose. It's definitely not like a creamy, uh, there's no creaminess to this. The spite, I do think they said oats. Yeah, with oats. To me, it's not creamy. 7.5%. You can't tell. Um, there is some lacing and alcohol legs, but there's, I wouldn't even say there's a warming in the chest. Yeah, that apricot, I, I mean... There's not much more for me to really talk about in terms of the flavor. It's just straight on apricot. Um, apricot mixed with some pineapple juice. <clears throat> or if like you took a bite of an apricot and then took a swig of um, pineapple juice afterward. That's pretty much what I'm getting here. It's not like a punch you in the face um, juice bomb by any means but it, it is it, it's pleasant and I will enjoy the rest of this off camera so burial beer company from Asheville North Carolina they're a vulgar mutilation of truth an India Pale Ale. I don't think I even mentioned it. They're calling it an India Pale Ale. Um, I would give this a straight 4 out of 5. This is a good beer. And I will enjoy this uh, off camera, like I said. Um, I would like that apricot flavor... Uh, and the pineapple to be a little more juicy, I guess. <laughs> but uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And comment down below. Let me know, have you had anything from the Burial Beer Company? And what did you think of them? I definitely really like their can art. And for this being my first beer, I'm looking forward to the next two. Until next time, peace.